This is HQ. The meteor strike has crippled our base and shut down oxygen production. You need to repair the damage immediately. Here's how oxygen production works. The solar panels absorb energy from the sun. Power cables and couplers transfer this energy to the power distributor. The distributor powers the life support system, which creates oxygen that is piped to the living quarters. Damaged equipment is indicated by a colored icon on your map. You must repair our base and restore oxygen production. Go to the equipment shed to get supplies. There's work to be done. Hey, and the life welcome. support system needs to be repaired, but the coolant leak is too hazardous for our suits. Construct a robot at the equipment shed and begin repairs on the life support system. Hey, and I guess I'm going to be interrupted over and over again. When you approach an object that you can interact with, it will glow. While the object is glowing, left click to interact with it. The equipment shed contains replacement equipment, tools, and robots. Access the equipment shed by left clicking on it. Left click on the tools category. Left click on the welding torch, and then click the accept button. Welcome to Moonbase Alpha. It's a free-to-play game, which is why it's on the free-to-play Saturday video today. Um, I have You're ready to make approximately... Press M to open your map and locate an item that needs repairing. Um, 23 minutes and a half to... Use the arrow keys to move the map and the plus and minus keys to zoom. Damaged equipment appears as a yellow, orange, or red icon. Press M again to close your map. All right, I have 23 minutes, as I said, to, to fix everything. Oh, apparently, I've got 54 seconds to fix that right there. Um, this is free to play. It's um, called. It's by NASA. It looks like uh, by Steam on here. Um, probably more of an educational game than anything else. Um, the Moon base is self-sufficient, and it is our job to fix the, the life support the power flow of the that has been Radio damaged by a meteorite. So, on a item and uh, we might not even make this the solar array is just ahead. All of the components along a solar panel's power line must be functional before the power distributor receives energy. More energy means more oxygen. Now I have three seconds. I don't think I made it. Well, that is a shame. The repair circle tracks your repair progress. Um, you're out of time. The coupler is destroyed. That's not good. Um, this is also multiplayer. This component Which has been damaged. This apparently is, uh, affects the repair time. What is going on right here? There is a potential bypass to the circuit that will save you repair time. Left click on one end of the circuit and move the mouse to solder a connection to the other end. No, I didn't do that. Alright, I think those couplers are all good. Operation. Press F1 at any time to access help and a complete Here's list one. of game controls. Yeah. It's going to be a long 20 minutes if, uh, let's see if we can't figure out how to play this a little bit better. Um, apparently you get, okay, there's a bypass if I want to try to dive that. I don't know what that means. Okay, no, don't. Oh, I think I see what it wants me to do. Well, anyway. I think if I just... Okay. Okay. Did it. Spots of repairing to do. Three seconds saved. What does that mean? Oh, because of that uh, welding job that I just pulled off there. I saved three seconds. I am going to sneeze. <coughs> this component is heavily damaged and will take a long time to repair. Replacing it may be faster. Well, maybe, but maybe I can just do the override. Just to right.
Yeah, that's a shame. It will literally take two you know, this only has one two minutes to do if I don't get this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Four seconds saved. Place a couple of many ways. Like the power distributor and life support system are just ahead. Only robots can access this area because of the hazardous coolant. Repairing these systems increases efficiency. So there's a coolant leak there. And the robot apparently is inside this building. And this would obviously be a whole ton easier with multiplayer. But now let's just carry on. Mm -hmm. Now, evidently, you get points for the way you finish this, and then you can end up on the leaderboard. Uh, I have not even. I played this one time before recording. You need both hands. Right click to drop an item. Okay. Dropped an item where I can pick it up later because that would be horrible. Let's construct the robot. A customized robot that can safely approach the life support system and aid in your repairs. With welding torch or with arm? And that's fine. Right click to drop the case. Left click on the case and select deploy to control the robot. Alright, I'm not ready for that yet. First. The first thing I'd like to do is replace those two broken um, covers. Left click on the equipment you would like to retrieve like and the then couplers. click the accept button. I think they were both couplers, right? Okay, let's do this first. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This has very positive reviews on on uh, Steam, which is pretty crazy. Eight thousand two hundred reviews and positive. That's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This actually was released in twenty ten, but it showed up on my Steam just the other day, probably because of the type of games I've been looking at playing, and plus it's free. Okay, how do I do this? Power caver, it's operational. Need both things. I don't know. Okay. Then just just go like this. Repair, pick up. Okay. I know I'm going to put this there. And pick up the cable. Possibly, am I can do it? Can I walk with said cable? Imagine so. Wow, hey, this is pretty detailed. And also, there's uh, backing up. Don't break the cable. Then insert. Nice. I got this figured out. Of course, <laughs> it's going into the one side. This way, that's what. I the power cable is attached, but the connection is not secured. Use a wrench to secure the connection. Oh, crying out loud, that's all. Let's start here first. Uh, Pick up this one. We can do it. We're gonna do it. We're going to fix this. Moon base. Empty slot is occupied. Oh. You got me? You? Okay. 
What's important is what repaired, not what's repaired. Hope that guy's not angry. But hey, I'm the one in space. We have 15, 14 and a half minutes, we're gonna do it. Yeah, right, this is gonna be pretty tight. That's nice, that's a good connection there. Okay. It would be nice if I had somebody running and grabbing tools. But I don't. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if I could ride the rover. Where's all this? There's like... At the command center, you can remotely pilot rovers and use cameras to view various areas of the lunar base. Beacon. Cool. Not necessary. Hand tools, I need to fix them. Torch allows for structural wrench uh, Toolboxes hold wrenches and welders. Two welders and one wrench. Oh, for crying out loud. How come the tutorial tells me to take that and take the stupid torch instead of getting a box full of torches and, well and uh, wrenches? That's alright. Sure, I've got 15 minutes before everything's over and we die. But hey, why be efficient? Crazy. So I'd love to show you how the map shows you all the broken things and the different um, areas of this place, but with 12 minutes left, I don't think we're gonna make it as it is. Okay. So I think I'll really set this down here. And let me back up so that I'm not in my own way. Take that wrench. Oh, it looks like I can put First the numbers. That's fancy. I like a little box like that. Okay. Not looking good. Let's chew the hose. One done, right? This is enough to do. Okay. Secure. Now let's put our tools away. Some of my kids this all the time. If you put your tools away, then you will always know where they are, always be able to find them. Of course with them it's mostly Almost got oxygen produced, possibly. I don't even know how the repairs on the other stuff could work. All I've got so far under my belt is these couplers. I'm gonna replace that other coupler just because it feels like that's the way to do it. Come on. Come on. Well, if that's fast or not, so we won't do it. Oh, don't tell me I could have been. You copy? Can you provide a data from repairs? Um, I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. 
couple of them. If I have all those I have to place a big trap. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Status on repairs. Not good. Gonna die. Yeah, I don't know how to communicate to that guy. He wants a status. The status is literally not looking good. And I don't really want to uh, complain to NASA, but the layout of all this stuff, way too far. Assuming that I can't just replace it. Okay. So I'm going to point at the ground. Just down there. Perfect. Hey, it does it exactly like I asked it to. Amazing. Okay. Power cable. Okay, so I need... Oh, obviously. Eight minutes, guys. What do you think? We're going to make it? Can be honest. Leave in the comments. Yeah, there was no chance for the guy. And I'll be like, "Yep, I knew it from the game." Pick up the toolbox. Go go go. I'll just connect there. Oh yeah. Let's fix this one real quick. Okay, just let it go. Let it fall over. It's fine. Come on. It's kind of a pain having to wait for this guy to do everything. So I'm going to back up because I'm thinking it's easier to push it forward for backing up. Alright. Let's aim nicely. Put it in. Seven minutes. fate of a lunar colony rests on the shoulders of me and my team, says the description. Thing is, I've been abandoned. I don't even have a team. Would be cool to play with a team. A coupler is going quickly. Repair it before there's further damage. Sure. Oh good, it's the one that I was working on. Does it seem like I run faster with the wrench? Maybe it's my imagination, I don't know. Oh, I don't care if this goes very cool. That's fine. As long as it doesn't explode and blow up or anything else. Detached kit. And, uh, you know, the faster the better. I don't know, Eva. think we're gonna make it. Every time I look at the clock it's another two minutes gone. Okay. Alright, we have to drop wrench. We should drop it in the toolbox. The toolbox is far away. So. Copy. We provide a status on repairs. Let's see. We've got the the um
manual open right next to me. Maybe I can take a look here. All right. While we're waiting on that. Rover, what's the rover do? Oh, I can transport equipment with the rover. All this walking around that I've been doing and wasting, not good. Repairing. I could read, but. I mean, I need a guy standing right over my shoulder, further on me, obviously and just holding a wrench. Alright. Pick up the wrench ground. And there was a NASA program manager that did this game. Secure. Daniel Laughlin, Learning Technologies. For uh, NASA. Amazing. Yeah, it really was by NASA. So it must be accurate. If this ever happened on the moon. Hey, I don't think it fixed the cup right. I don't want to pick it up. I want to fix it. Okay, but I don't want to pick it up, I want to fix it. Okay, thank you. So click on the hose. Let's see, I know there's somewhere on this manual that gives the keys. Alright, we don't have time. Two and a half minutes. Thanks. Okay. Let's put this in the toolbox. Maybe I can show you the map of things damaged. What's that over there? Is that another toolbox? Oh, look, we could have just used that one. Amazing. Quickly now, I'm gonna put away tool. We're gonna have to get the robot and, um, probably. Uh, I'm gonna leave the toolbox here because I think we probably need it. Two minutes. If there's only like one thing we have to do, we might make it. Possibly. What was that? I heard something. space to the people. One minute guys. <laughs> what I read. I mean if there was one minute left in real life I was on the moon. Uh, I would not be attempting to fix this. It's a little the robot using the standard movement key and left click to address. Oh wow, it stops on that. Real quick here. Signal, that's the end, man. Oh, are you kidding me? You just got a master alarm, low oxygen level. Oh, that's the end. This is not good. The system that powers oxygen generation is still down. 
productivity has now officially ground to a stop. We need to try this again and restore proper functionality so we don't lose another day's work. I failed. So let's see. Austin, good job. 648. Whatever that means, Austin, you did great. All right, we'll stop there. Oh, man. Maybe I'll try it again. Probably play this with my kids, see what they think. But Austin, hats off to you, buddy. Hope you enjoyed your time. And I don't know how many people you're playing with, but good job. Maybe you're playing with Aus since they've got the same score. All right, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Saturday.